<clears throat> All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Be some first mate Drakir at your service. And I think I forgot to do that during the last stream today. Sorry about that. <clears throat> And yeah, welcome back to All the Mod 7 in the second world that we've made with this. And this is the seventh stream of that, I believe. That or my count is off. Uh, yeah, since last time I've made a few small changes, I haven't been too active on this. But one, I yeah, managed, I installed these because these actually can drain the lava out of these cauldrons, which has already overfilled this system. So I'm going to need to, <clears throat> I'm going to need to put another. Uh, tank to that. <clears throat> uh, we've also got an enchanting apparatus set up here because, uh, yeah, I needed a wand of dominion, which is used to control familiars and such. And, uh, yeah, I've <laughs> done this. What? Uh, <laughs> what? What by Odin's beard, Baldur's boar, and Force Hammer had you done? Well, I made this here. This is where... Uh, where's, why is there only one? Okay, there were supposed to be five of these here. Did, did the dumbasses walk... They walked off the... <laughs> okay, let's go catch them. Uh, but yeah, this is what the amethyst golems do. Uh, set this up. They didn't turn all of them into crystals, it seems. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they did more than five, at least. Well, they, they was probably wandered off before they did the rest. Yeah, so I should I should seal them in completely. The way the reason I put up that wall was because uh, they ran they got themselves not really killed but dispelled by running into the uh, the <laughs> the source berries, and that was three. There's supposed to be a fifth somewhere. Hmm. But yeah, basically what I did with that is that I've automated the uh, source gem production. And uh, yeah, it's been working pretty well. I still need to add a farming machine to it to harvest the source berries and such. Because they can't give source if they can't <clears throat> if they can't grow. And uh, Drakir's already seen this, but I basically made an, a massive terrace around the place for us to build on. Yeah, we, we will add some walls to this, so it doesn't look like uh, planks out of the air. Yeah. So it's a bit more secure and we don't have anything spawning under it. Uh, yeah, but basically what is happening is that th this is comp horribly inefficient. I can, ma I can imp improve this. But basically, the golems, uh, they harvest... Hello. The golems harvest fully grown shard, uh, yeah, crystals, uh, amethyst clusters from these. That one isn't fill, completely grown yet. That one is, so they should hopefully start uh, working on that. Um, be and because this oak chest here is set as their home, they will put any, uh, yeah, any amethyst shards they harvest, they will put them in the box, which goes through the funnel onto a depot, uh, which the first mechanical arm picks up. Uh, he puts it down in the middle there, and then the other one picks them up from there, puts them in the other uh, funnel, which get yeah, immediately dropped into, well, here, into the hopper, any extra is stored in here, and as you can see, that's plenty of extra. And yeah, they just drop in one by one, get converted. There is a smart chute underneath, set with a filter for source gems. So they drop in there, fall into a bunch of hoppers, and end up here. Nice. So yeah, once once I put in uh, uh, once I put in a farmer, yes, a farming device to harvest these source berries, which they they grow pretty damn fast already. Uh, yeah, that will really speed up the, <laughs> even more. And yeah, I'll probably I'll need to find. Hmm. I could maybe just use a belt to move them closer because. These mechanical arms are pretty pricey for what they do, and this is just a water wheel powering them. I could probably get uh, the farming machine and the mechanical arm powered by the same you know, water wheel hidden on the ground. But yeah, that's that. Uh, as you can see on the mini-map, we 
Clarif is pretty sizable. For some reason, some of this turned into mycelium. Uh, also, if I remember correctly, mycelium only spreads to dirt blocks and not to grass blocks. So let's have a little test with that. Uh, yeah. I put some filters on this thing to pick up any blocks that we, well, don't really need. So one, two, three. That should be mycelium later. And this is the big thing I've been working on. Uh, yeah, this is the advanced washer I was talking about. Basically, there's two, <clears throat> there's two water wheels in here, which power, uh, well, with, which connected together by a mechanical belt here. And yeah, that's bas that basically ensures that they provide the same, uh, that they combine their stress units. And this here is now not the mechanical belt. If I can see it through here, everything. It is a bit hidden behind everything. And I don't have an off switch for this, but basically there's a device there. That's, a... I'll just look it up here. <laughs> there, it's a rotation speed controller. Basically what, actually I might as well just show it with the ponder motion. You put in force from the sides, put a, you know, bleh, put a big cog wheel on top of it. And you can select how fast it will go. Nice. And the reason that thing is put in here is because these fans, the, the amount, the distance that they push an effect like this depends on how fast they are running. And as you can see, this belt that they're, that's connected to them is running a lot faster than this one. This is running at 48 RPM, I think it was. It's a bit hard to see when the entire thing is blocked off. Yeah, that pushes the effect out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. So anything that gets put on here is going to get washed no matter what place they are on the belt here. If I had some gravel, I could show that. And there's another one down there, which is powering this mechanical arm to pick things off of it as they pass by. And while well, it goes pretty fast like this. And yeah, that puts it in these chests. Cop, no, iron and flint. I'm so concerned. It, it, you're gonna wash your clothes with this? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, well, yeah, I could add extra. Yeah, I could add, uh, add extra chests here with other things that could get washed because up above here is the same thing basically, but with a different effect. And did I start the timer or did I forget? I forgot, <laughs> of course. Okay, uh, yeah, these here are soul campfires, and the effect they put out is called haunting. Now what haunting does, if I can just go grab some sand, is, well, they turn, they turn stuff from one thing into another at a one-to-one -one ratio, I believe. And that little sound there was from another effect, another filter that I put on one of these backpacks. Uh, this one has the feeding uh, <clears throat> feeding upgrade, which basically means the moment we need to eat, uh, we get fed out of the backpack. Wait, what? Yep. <coughs> and... Okay, we have only four sand, so I think it's about time we set up a grinder for, well, making sand. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, these, yeah, this bit I'm just going to throw on there. It'll get turned into soul sand, and if... Wait, 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 let me, take, let me duck and cover first. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. And you can see oh, it's being uh, processed by the little flames. I hope it's going to fly out. Oh, I thought it actually flew away. <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it gets turned into soul sand, and once I add a smart chute underneath here, which I don't have yet, it could it would get dropped down here, and then would turn into gold and dead uh, dead bushes. And dead bushes, I think we can use in evil craft. And gold is well, it's gold. <laughs> oh the oh no! Damn it! Now I have some stuck in my head again. <laughs> okay. 
It is the song from a gold member. <laughs> uh, no, not grass. We need a smart shoot. Here we go. We are short on that, which is short on both of those. So let's just quickly make one. I I had been short on redstone, but I've managed to dig up a bunch since then. Though it's still not too much. Let's actually make two of these just in case. And get some sticks. Uh, actually, just pick that, remove the rest. There. One, two. Okay. Uh, some sandpaper. Yep, apparently I'm down to one. Okay, same as before. Put it in the other hand. I could probably set up a machine to do this. But we don't do it that often. Oop. I should probably put a. <laughs> I probably should put a, a trap door over that. Okay. You, wait. You. I forgot trap doors are in this game. And I'm surprised you didn't think of it yourself. And again. You, you don't seem to really think too much about safety. With, in whatever you build. Eh, not really, no. Let's grab that one as well, because I don't want this stuff to be falling in nilly willy and just ending outside of the machine. I can be honest. I wonder how many scores do you have from accidental sawing against yourself? Uh, a decent amount. <laughs> okay. Just put that there. Uh, let's pick... Oh, it, <laughs> it's already dropping through because there's no filter on it. Actually, that would... Hmm. What other things can be haunted like that? Uh, let's see. Soul... Soul sand. Okay. Bulk haunting. Um... Hmm. How do we see that as a process? Anyway, for now, let's just keep that there and put these underneath so that they should get dropped down. And just to check that they land correctly. And yeah, that's what happens if you stand into it. You just get blinded. Okay. Those should land down here. Let's turn this off just to be certain. There we go. And that starts getting washed. Though this one might be a bit much since it could block the washing effect. Yeah, I hope that this is enough to have it land safely. Otherwise I might need to... Hmm, not sure what I might do. <laughs> oh, that one turns the quartz. Wait, what? I thought... Let me see. So... Uh, soul sand, uh, use, and then let's see bulk. Oh, okay, it's quartz and gold chance. Okay, a two percent chance, but still. Uh, what was it then that the dead bushes would would give? Because there are two things with the washing that you can get. Yeah, you know, use to make yeah. Use to make gold. I, th I think the other is red sand. And yeah, red sand. Okay. Uh, well, that'll mean that'll be two th useful things that I can get out of this. I just need to build another uh, <clears throat> cobblestone generator and a double crusher above it. And yeah, that'll be <laughs> automated gold and quartz. Wait. Can you do that with regular fire? Uh, not reg not regular campfires like that, but uh, there are two other effects that can be done with the uh, <clears throat> with the encased fans. The first is called blasting, which uses uh, lava and basically is smelting, and the other is uh, smoking, which is works the same as cooking something. 
So, yeah, we could build another pair of these with blasting and smoking and basically use those in place of furnaces. All right. And the reason I was, asked was uh, I was wondering if you could technically make a lethal flamethrower trap with them. Well, living entities standing in blasting or smoking can be hurt from it, I believe. And, yeah, I've dug down further. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, what I meant to say is that I replaced the floor here and have begun to dug out another level. Though this was made, done mostly because I was short on cobblestone. The roof of this one, or the floor of this one, will be lower than the previous. Though what we'll put there, I don't know yet exactly. And Probably other monstrosities, but actually I'm kind of surprised why the heck... <laughs> Is that the good machine on the surface? Yeah, because I needed space to build it out and plan it out. And as it is now, we can make a <clears throat> we can make a schematic of it with the uh, well the schematic system and have a schematic cannon build it down lower. Oh. Okay. Yeah. For now, though, I think we should focus back on the magic systems and such. Though, mm -hmm. I have been saying that I want to make that uh, tunnel bore a few times now, and I still haven't. So, shall we focus more on ours and such, or shall we go make the tunnel bore first? Hmm. We can do both, I say. Okay. But we can do the tunnel bore first. Uh, first off, though, I should probably set these three back to work and just seal them off into that little area. Uh, where did I leave the Wand of Domination? Which is the thing I built this for. And, yeah, we can also just work with this thing. Uh, let's see. There it is. The, uh, the yeah, Dominion Wand. To make this, you need a stick, two source gems, and a uh, gold ingot. And yeah, you need the enchanting apparatus on top of a core, an, uh, an arcane core. And yeah, there's not too much, just uh, arcane stone, gold, and such. Easy enough to make, especially now that we have automated our source gem creation. But hopefully, before next time, I'll have uh, this improved even further. Uh, because those, <laughs> those amethyst shards are starting to backlog. Yeah, backlog. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we can focus a bit more on unlocking glyphs. Uh, let me put those in there for the moment. Uh, might as well do the berries as well. They'll occasionally give a bit of mana regen. Um, yeah, more magic. It re these really grow fast. Like, almost every time I step outside, they're fully grown again. Which gives a lot of source and everything. Okay. One. We selected with uh, to set a home for these. We select them with the Dominion wand. And then set uh, click on another block to set it as their home. Be and again, as as I said, it's a, because it's a chest and has an inventory. Any shards they collect, they will grab and put down there. Oh. And if I have it correctly... Uh, actually, at the moment, this brass funnel isn't really needed. Because, uh, yeah, they're they're a bit slow to put them in at the time, especially since it's only one now. Uh, but basically, that'll um, this will ensure that whatever amount in a stack is in there gets put down there, gets picked up and moved. Wait, you forgot the wall. Yeah, we'll set these first uh, down first. There we go. And yeah, we need. We need material to actually build the wall out of, or the enclosure would be a better word for these. And no woods, plenty of kelp. I should maybe In set kelp? up the automated as well. <laughs> oh no, I just remember a. There's a very old ad i glad it's no longer running. But. Early, the people memed about the meme was a thing again. 
No. And good God, it was annoying. Basically, someone needs help. Does someone ask, do you need help? Call Nisse from Manpower. He has one of those so stupid. A man in my family did it. The joke occasionally, and I was screamed on the inside. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if they can jump, but I'm still going to make this too high. And yeah, we'll have to figure out where the last, where number five is some other time. Okay. Wait. A building ones, but oh well. I think I may know where the fifth one is. Fall him down this side. Very possibly, he might be at the house down there. Well, let's go take a look then. After harvesting this batch again, yeah, we're, we're really getting more than of these than we know what to do with. So, well, I do know one thing we can do with it, and I mistook that for a way down. We. I really should. I really should install some stairs. And yeah. Let's take a quick look. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> oh, okay. We did eat some of the berries, it seems, because we have mana regen. Uh, can those things even swim? Because if they are cans. <laughs> And then, well, I don't even know if they would need to breathe or anything. Maybe something to test, because is that a cave down there? Uh, if they die, they will just turn back into a charm. And, well, since they make budding amethyst, and we make amethyst golems out of budding amethyst, they basically uh, just create more of themselves. Uh, uh, look up, please. Oh, no, the uh, direction. We need to fix that. Fix what? L look next to you, uh, towards east and up. It, it, it's the Terrans thing. Towards uh, your base. That's west. Oh. Of this, you mean? <laughs> yeah, that. We need to fix that. <laughs> we need to fill it even dirt or something, but that looks so awkward. Uh, it'd be better to just build some pillars down for. Fox support, and yeah, maybe a wall of dirt to seal it off or something. Or cobblestone to really make it clear, do not dig further than this. But yeah, we can be, uh, we'll probably be installing machines underneath that eventually. Yeah, so a, a wall will be good there to give the wall a fortified look. There we go, clean that up as well. I have no need for soapstone, so I can just leave that be. Um, let's see. We can. Let's do the. Fir... Yeah, let's do the. Mm. Let's do the bore first. Then I think I already made some parts for it. They're not in there, it seems. Let's see. Gantry stuff. Gantry stuff. Uh, is alright if I bore you? Uh, 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 uh. It's all right if I borrow some soapstone from you. <laughs> okay, here's the shaft and the carriage. Uh, these require redstone, so that's why I have to go back and dig up some manually. Uh, let's see. Carriage gantry. Uh, can be mounted to and slide along a shaft. They can be put upside down or sticking out to the side as well. It doesn't show that. I found it out by accident. Same here. I saw a little clip of someone making a mono train with it. And yeah, they basically function as moving contraptions like that. The main reason I'm doing this instead of what you people usually... Well, we, we tried it previously with the uh, <clears throat> in a previous world. But we could... You, we, yeah, I just couldn't get a, a digging minecart to work somehow. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. 
It will need a water wheel to power it. Yeah, did, do, did you solve it? Uh, we thought we did, but no. Uh, let's see. No cogwheels. Uh, I have been... I have been working on a design for a machine that would automatically make me yeah, precision mechanisms. But I should probably get to work on sm on smaller ones as well, just to automate making water wheels, cog wheels, and all of that such. So that we have, well, <clears throat> we have the storage prepared for them. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the, the music is very active today. Let's see. Buckets, buckets. I keep losing freaking buckets. I had like four at one point. Hmm. Where the hell are those things constantly? I'm pretty sure I've lost even the one. Yeah, even the one over there has been lost. Hmm. Okay, just make a new one since we have plenty of iron. I should probably make two just to have a better powered one. And you uh, tell me you you lose buckets like socks? Yep. I I never lost a sock yet, really. Let's see, we'll need a gearbox. Actually I have we only need thrown one. socks away though. We only need one water wheel because I don't think it matters how many things we slap on the front. It does it doesn't actually it doesn't actually have stress in the requirements. So there's no need for a gearbox. Uh, what we do want are mechanical drills. And we'll want eight of these. Okay, are we out of those? The reason why eight is because, uh, yeah, to f have the space for... <clears throat> a drill will the, the tunnel bore will have to be able to push break enough break enough of a surface to uh, allow itself to pass through. And yeah, basically what I'm going for is a two by four width, so there will be plenty of room to move after it as well. Uh, let's see, we'll want a deployer, which we don't have any, of course. And lacking brass hands, and we're lacking in brass plates. Okay, how much brass do we have? Enough. So, one, two, three, four. Actually, let me make just 20 should be enough, 60 extra. At the same time, I keep forgetting this thing and using it too much at the same time. Okay, whilst that is working... Actually, we only need to wait for four squeezes. Three. <clears throat> and four. Get the rest of you to work there. And let's see. Brass hands there. And the deployer. Okay, now some chassis to actually have it well stick together. Okay, linear chassis there. Let's make about 15, should be enough, I think. More than enough, probably. Uh, let me think. What else was involved in the design? We'll need clutch. Which we need shafts for. Okay. Uh, iron. Need to make more andesite alloy. I probably should automate that as well. And then andesite. Oh dear. Yeah. I, thought, I thought for some reason that was 18. Not 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We go th throw that together in the mixer here. Okay, actually, 
I should have a storage ready. No, the storage is empty. Okay, that, that means I'll definitely have to make more of that. And probably just automate it as well. Uh, besides a clutch, we're going to need a gear shift. Because we want that we want to be able to call it back. Oh dear. There. I'm getting concerned. Some shafts. One clutch and then gear shift. Okay. And now we're short on that again. There. Okay. For now, some levers should also do. Though we... Oh, that's a bit much of them. Uh, later on, I'll want to replace these with redstone links. But at the moment, this will do... Oh, it seems we made too much. Okay, it was three uh, brass plates, it seems. Not four, I thought. Or did I pick up one too many? Anyways, let's see. Uh, we'll need some chests. Um, let's just grab the bunch and see how that goes. Okay. Um, it's gonna explode. Now let's just head downstairs because apparently the the level at which the red redstone and such is the most prevalent is at the very bottom of the world, actually. And yes, I did just make some stairs to get down here and got to work myself. Okay. Uh, can I wonder if we can put those things into a stone cutter? In the deep slate, you mean? Uh, the magic blocks. Maybe. For now, let's just dig a bit of an area to work in. Uh, uh, we, we may use some deep slate for the tower. Let's see. So this yeah. is just good? Uh, of course, the deep slate got put in the other bag. So let's use that as a deal, the building material. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then there's this, the soul stone, not soul so stone, the soul sand, water wheel, and now we just need to get some water. I probably should make it another elevator down here. Or put in you the should put a, a place actual stairs for your stairs. <laughs> Uh, that is why I left these bit of areas open, but yeah. Yeah, which reminds me, I don't think you know this, but they sort of fix the ladders in Valheim. Oh? Yeah, you, 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 I remember you usually hating to use them, that you, you completely walked oddly or you just had to jump over them. They give them a, a slight animation, they, so you do a slight auto jump when getting over them, so it looks less awkward to use, and also less awkward to use in general. Okay. <laughs> Trying to drown there. us already? <laughs> they are certainly some British. <laughs> okay, uh, I probably should have... Ah, screw it. Probably should have brought a bit of uh, a few shafts to work with, but this will do. Uh, let's put the clutch on first, then the gear shift. Um, might have been po probably better if I did these the other way around, but okay, that won't block them. Yeah. Stop trying to drown us. Okay, that will make things a little bit awkward to get around, but okay. Uh, let's see, the Grand Free Shafts. And as a... 
put that there. We can't dig underneath, so we'll have to build a bit over. Okay. Uh, now, with the clutch, of course, if we pull that, it stops. With this, it goes the other way. And now as a test, we put this on and see which way it'll go once it is active. Yep. Okay. So just having it normal, we'll push it forwards. Okay. And we break it off. And put it on the side. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Right. It might actually be better if I we dig it on the other side because then it, there's bleh, there we more for it to dig around, to dig through. Okay. We'll limit our space a little bit, but okay. Oop, we want that. Don't know exactly what it does, but it's golden, so we want it. Okay. Now, the problem with the, this is that it actually needs to... It is limited to the length of the gantry shaft. But to fix that, we're going to put on the deployer and make it that... You know, it'll, it'll be putting down more shafts as it travels. Okay. Uh, we need glue for that, which I completely forgot to bring along. I am not surprised. Oh, good God. Yeah, you, you need stairs. So you just can run up. Okay, do I have... Yes, I have. Okay, can we make stairs from these? Yes, we can, actually. Okay. This won't be enough, probably, but oh well. Actually, for this, it'll be enough. Not for the, the way, <laughs> the rest of the way down. And even for this, it's not enough. Uh, is this thing coming down or not? It was going up. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a little cheat then and just teleport upwards to save ourselves the time of waiting because we know we're we're not, we're getting up and down. We just no <clears throat> hard cheat in that. Just speeding up. Okay. Um, oh dear. Slime. That's how it starts. And we have no glue at the moment. Do I have some in inventory? Uh, not seeing it. Anything in the other bag? Uh, there is some glue, but not a lot. So, okay. There. There. And there. Let's use up this one first. There it is. But best to have one extra in hand. Okay. Go. Okay. Uh, we'll need to put glue here and then put the deployer on. There we go. Now we put these as its filter. And that means that the moment it has them, it should place them in front here. And well, once it's active, of course. Um. Oh, so but, but you can use some of these hands to harvest and such. I could, but they would be pretty expensive for that. True. Do apparently someone made one to um, use an enchanted fire sword to kill cows and get cooked meat. Well, they, we can't. We can give them weapons. Yeah, <laughs> they, they could be used for that. 
Uh, let's get her a digging spell for a moment. Just do this a little bit faster. If we had enough mana, that is. Okay. Uh, with that one in place, we put... Let's put cover this side in glue as well. And continue with the platform. Not the platform, the chassis. Uh, let's see. I know what needs to go here. And I think for the rest, we just need to put down the drills. And some chest along the sides. Or, let's see. Glue there. Drill there. Actually... Yeah. And that, that isn't a big problem because we can just move it around with the wrench if I can find the wrench. Yeah, I, I should put all of this stuff in the bigger bag. Come on, turn the right way, you stupid thing. There we go. It, it turns along the axis of the way you're facing. Yeah, for some form it looked like you wanted to turn it towards the direct, every direction except the one you wanted. There we go. Uh, let's dig out the floor for this bit, just to make it easier on ourselves. Glue on the other side. There we go. Then glue here. Here we go. We just have to be facing the right way for them to cooperate. And then a bit more glue there. And use up the last bit of it. And then we hang a chest on the side. Okay. We put these in there. And now once this thing starts moving, it should put down the shafts in front of it. Let's just quickly get over here. Yeah, it, it's placing the shafts in front of it. And it's digging. So the only thing that is limiting this thing at the moment is its, well, the chest and how much that can hold and the amount of gantry shafts that it has. And yeah, I, the only other thing that would be limiting things is how far the world is rendered, which is set to, let's see... At least 10, around 10 chunks at least, which is 160 blocks. So yeah, if we just give this thing uh, a stack of gantry shafts, it'll be, it should be more than safe. Actually, we could, we could yeah. give it two. No, let's be honest. There's going to be an, enough stone or whatnot for a while. <laughs> the only problem now is that it is going rather slowly, but we can, we can speed that up by just well, we could just put uh -oh. in a speed controller or just uh, build it out nor as we yeah, with just gear with cogwheels and shafts like we did with the crushers up above. And yeah, now it's out of those. So we just reverse it and call it back. So yeah, let's see how. How was it with the gantry shafts again? Okay, and the side. Where did it... Oh. There is one thing I forgot, because we need an extra drill here. Uh, is Yeah, it'll... I didn't actually... I thought it would stop with these, but no. If we put a drill on the other side here, facing the other way, it would actually collect the gantry shafts as it would come back. That what? way we wouldn't have to go run out for those ourselves. Uh, actually, no, I realized one mistake. This needs to be out one more. So we'll have to dig these up. And yeah, that way we have... A <laughs> we, that way we have a tunnel bore that will mostly take care of itself. Keep thinking of the wrong thing when you say that. I keep figuring of a tunneling bore. You know, Tuscan all. 
Yeah. So let's put that there. I'll turn these in a bit. Yep. Okay. I guess I can't put glue on the front facing parts. Okay. Glue. Take this little annoying bit out. Drill. Glue and drill. Yeah, if if the if this was shorter, then it would dig up these bits the moment that they would get placed down. This way it remains safe and mobile. So glue, glue, glue. Like the Rayman Legends parody of <laughs> Woohoo. I, I, I was ready for that one. I was ready for that one. <laughs> Okay, uh, now another quick lazy teleport to make another drill. Wait, 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 I saw something, I saw something. Hmm. Yeah, this is done like this. So, if you only do that to dirt but not grass, correct? Yeah, grass is safe. Okay. I, I had isolated it because I thought it would grow out over grass, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah. Drill. Make one more of these. There we go. And a bunch of gantry shafts. There we go. Oh, wait. I... Yeah, we were short, but we were making some. Not enough, though. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there. There. Now, how much have we of each? Redstone there. Okay. And only that amount of andesite alloy. Hmm. There is a way to automate the creation of andesite as well. But that'll take a bit more for me to make. It isn't too complicated. Uh, I think I can just show it. Here, and let's see. Compacting. Yeah, by combining two flints, one gravel, and some lava, uh, with no heating required. Some of these compacting and mixing recipes require heating from below. Yeah, combining that together in a basin, underneath a press, and you get andesite. And since we know we can get gravel and flint from crushing and washing stuff, and, well, we already have automated lava up there... Yeah, we, we can make our own andesite without having to go digging around for it anymore. Nice! And we should have plenty of room to do that in the basement. Yeah, I'll just need to figure out how to make the design and such. Uh, for now, let's put that in here. So I have enough room for other stuff. Gravel, flint, but... Hmm. We could try and make some as is, but let's not for the moment. Just just make as much andesite as we can at the moment. And get as much iron nuggets. Let's sort this so I have a good account. Okay, two, almost two and a half stacks. Uh, there is a limit to how many stuff how much stuff you can put in a, a basin I figured out, or I've read on on the wiki. So one, two, and that is actually just enough to match. Okay. Oh, there's still some andesite in here as well. Uh, I believe there. Hmm. I don't know the hard limit or anything. Let's just throw in what we can right now that doesn't get picked back up. <laughs> it gets put back, back immediately. I don't know how to re reliably move stuff into the base, and I could, I could set up a mechanical arm for that, mm, but it might be a bit much. Hmm. Let's just keep throwing in what we can, and we'll deal with what gets spat out. What we. Can all right, all right. Let's see. I, I do have some 
Core better could throw I could throw in some cardboard, some plastic. Okay. There we go. Now we have an even amount to work with. And yeah, it doesn't really bother me too much that we might be uh, that we'd be using up a lot, if not all of the redstone that we have. Because uh let me just you how to get that. Uh redstone ore, wool generation. Yeah, as you can see, it has the highest chance of spawning at the absolute bottom. And hello there, Noon. Hello, Noon! So, yeah. As much as we might use up with this, uh, we are likely to get repaid with in it anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's stack all of this up and give it two stacks to work with. Oh, and that's enough. Yeah, you're doing well, I hope. Oh. Okay, that's a new one. <laughs> Gin screeches. I keep forgetting screeches? about the offhand. <laughs> it's basically what people call scratching their cat. Oh, what is it called? Scratches. Yeah, but <laughs> people have renamed it to scratches. Oh, for the love of one way off and another. Okay, there and there. Uh, did we bring that drill? We did bring that drill. I, I still don't feel like a pet here. <laughs> it, there we go. And now our tunnel bore should be ready. So. There. It, there it goes. Find some truffles. The redstone will do for now. It'll be a bit... Oh yeah, it's digging. Uh, why is that one... Oh, that, that, that's the one I put facing back. I thought I thought one of the drills was back one block, but no, that's the, <laughs> that's the recovery one. That's on you. That's on you. Yeah. Uh, if we make four more drills, we could make it one higher. Not that it would help at the moment here. But it could help if we, uh, yeah, put on some speed, you know, speed it up a bit with some cogwheels, and because it is a bit difficult to walk behind it now. Hello there. Uh, the pink makes it a bit hard to read your name, so let me bring up the chat program. Let's see. Pro Josen, hello there. You doing well? I hope. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's hello, okay. I'm... Hello, and welcome. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is working rather slow. So let's go gap. <laughs> let's go grab some cogwheels. Uh, can let's see. That's that's the wrong bag. I really, I really should label or paint these. I think we can paint them. Okay. Uh, there is that. It, it still has two uses. But why did it? The stream is going well. Pretty easy. Uh, we're playing all the mod seven, as it says in the title, uh, which is a mod pack I quite like. I know that there is a new one out, but I'm going to wait with that for a while. Uh, <clears throat> I know it changed up some things, and I'm hoping that it'll add some more mods to it as they come out. For one, it doesn't have tinkers, which well is <clears throat> is a real shame if you ask me. Ooh, pardon. Pardon. Okay. So while the tunnel bore is doing its work, slowly but surely, uh, let's go grab some cog wheels and speed it up. Yep. Such masonry. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we've been pretty busy in this world as is. It's our second one we've made with this uh, mod pack on stream at the moment. Uh, I'm doing well, I'd say. Uh, being yeah, being a bit busy with streams today. This is the second one we're doing today, and I'm likely to join a collab uh, later on. Yeah, uh, we yeah, don't need to do us that enough. Uh, yeah, I know there's some diamonds around here. I, there's no, that's something else, I think. 
I have a good amount of diamonds as is, but I will dig those out eventually. If you're wondering why things are so light, it's because of these night vision goggles. So I, I don't need torches to look. <laughs> Anyways, let's just ride the elevator up. I might speed think this thing up as well at some point, even though it's already going at 40 RPM, I think. Uh, I'm unsure if we should dare fiddling with the speed of an elevator. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that's this <laughs> that's the tunnel board done after what like four strings that I've talked about it. How long have I played Minecraft for? Uh, the original version I played off and on since one of its early alphas or betas, I think. I don't know. And yeah, you can call me Captain or you can just call me Hillian. Whichever is preferred. And yeah, welcome to the tower. Jumping to make sure I don't fall through. Uh, we have a good what amount to, of stuff set up. To be the tower. <laughs> we have amethyst shard farm set up there. Automated source gem production. Kelp production. There still needs to be a farming machine set on that. We have a big ass storage system here with the Tom simple storage mods. Yeah, let's put those in there. We have a double cobble generator. Yeah, we have a double cobble gen generator here. That uh, yeah leads down to some crushing wheels, which well crushes everything that runs through it into dust or something else that is useful. We have lava dripping down from it, being pulled out into these. Though these need an upgrade. Uh, some tetra stuff here. And plenty of Ars Magica and Tinker stuff around as well. Yeah, Minecraft is a very good game. It is a lot of what you make of it yourself, or what mods people make for it. I, I simply put, uh, <laughs> I've grown too used to modded Minecraft to be able to play the normal version anymore. Yep. Thank you for the follow, Jazz. I almost call you Boss Joyson again. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Thank you for the follow, yes. Uh, for mods, I I would suggest not to go with all the mods first, because those are very, very big mod packs, and they take a hell of a lot of time to load in, if you can even run them. Uh, but uh, let me let me minimize the game for a second. If you find the Curse Forge mo uh, uh, mod loader, uh, I think if you Google Curse Forge, you will find it from there. Uh, if you download and install that, it has a section which shows mod packs that you can download, and you can probably find a good few, uh, few, yeah, a few good ones there. Okay, Finnish words. Okay, first time we've had uh, someone from Finland, I think. Uh, Drakir over there is Swedish. I know someone who is Danish. We um, we actually had Finns here before. Uh, uh, do you remember the one called Yellow Kenobi? Uh, yeah, I think. Finn, as well. Okay. <laughs> well, then you are the you are second to the... Uh, po <laughs> I would say pardon the pun, but puns are part of what I am. Uh, you are the second to the finish. Big hearts. <laughs> that was painful. Uh, uh, okay. Over here, we can unlock more... Uh, spe more spell glyphs for our mods uh, for a spell book. Uh, yeah, I probably should put down a few more of these. The this one down here isn't needed for this. It's just the decoration. Uh, we should get started with brewing as well. We haven't done that yet, but let's show a bit more of the build of the tower or <laughs> the basement at least. Uh, here we have the crossing wheels. It drops everything in here, which in turn runs everything to this washing machine. Yeah. Thanks for visiting all the same, and see you next time. <laughs> Be safe! Yeah, plenty of freaking flint. And we have the tree farm down there, still. Uh, press, mixer... There's not too much we're missing, I mo think, yeah. at the moment. <laughs> you too. And enjoy whatever you're going to need me doing, or at least enjoy it enough to endure it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I've gotten myself stuck. 
Not sure if I showed this off, but I think this I upgraded this uh, from last time. Basically, these tunnels here, this one will allow these incomplete uh, mechanisms to pass through, and everything else will be run you know, will come out there into here. So yeah, whenever the process of creation does fail, it won't clog the it won't clog the system up. And yeah, I caught some animals that still need a <laughs> a pen <coughs> or a pasture. Uh, let's see. Now that the tunnel bore is active, let's grab some cog wheels to speed it up. Once we are go, once we get back to that. Uh, some of those, some of those. Make a few more of them. Oh, out of the alloy. Okay, almost a stack. Hmm? Yeah, they, they use the uh, slash D command. Of course, not slash, exclamation D. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll need some shafts. So, there. Okay, but first, I'll need to do a quick BRB. So uh, yeah, let's hope nothing jumps into the <laughs> into the place to kill me whilst I'm away. <laughs> oh dear! And there he goes. There we go, back. Uh, that was only about two minutes, but I'll still push the stream back five, or extend it by five. All right, and welcome back. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, some more glyphs that we want to unlock. We can leave that aside there for the moment, because we want to set up more of these. For each of those essences that we might need with these, uh, let me just put this in here so we can check. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's narrow it down further just to make sure. Not create. Ours. There. Abjuration, conjuration, air, earth, fire, manipulation, and water. So there's three, six, seven total. We already have one set up. Okay. Imbuement chamber, arch wood, and gold. We need six more of that. 
And we're low on archwood. Okay. Or archwood planks, that is. Uh, let's break down some of these flourishing. Also, something we, we should do is to grab some of these saplings and make ourselves some guardians. Because um, we, with the Ritual of Awakening, we can turn these into ant, ants for defense. Did you seriously just say ants? <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, ants as with an E, as in tree beard and such. Now, gold, yeah, no, seems. you correctly said, but it's not like you, you stop yourself from accidentally saying ants there. Probably, yeah. Uh, gold? Don't, we don't have any blocks of that left. Uh, are we have any here? Okay, one. So we can make a few more, but we can't make... <clears throat> Pardon. We can't make the seven total at the moment. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Before you make a mistake, how about walls? Yeah, we are going to put those up before we make the uh, and uh, uh, right. We need to put these in here first. <laughs> it's a bit finicky with recognizing things in inventory. Okay, there we go. It, that, actually, that is six that we need. All right. Uh, then we need each of these need only three things. Okay. So we need to make eighteen of those pedestals. Uh, take an extra there. Okay. Pedestals. Okay. And we don't have enough of that. Okay. We need 18. So we need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. 18 times 7 is uh, a bunch. <laughs> okay. There. Let's just make two stacks. We have plenty of stone and source gems. We could actually... Uh, can we make anything else with these? Because it, it would be fitting for... It would be fitting for an arcane tower to be made out of arcane stone. Is it gilded arcane stone? Uh, yeah. Arcane the, bricks? The, yeah, I definitely say... Definitely combine that with deep slate. It actually, we could use that as a wall for the rest of the uh, fortification. Like, instead of just cobblestone, we could use deep slate and that. Let's see, how does this look? Pretty good. Is it, hmm. is it cheap to make or so? Yeah, it's just more of arcane stone. And we have plenty of soapstone, which can be used to make it, I believe. Uh, yeah, soapstone that has no real other use for us, I think. Uh, not a lot of use, at least, and we have plenty of it. All right, then, yeah, let's combine that with deep slate, possibly. And we can also use it uh, for the uh, fleeing on terrace. Or mostly use deep slate for that, so we do get a bit of a... Oh, that looks nice. I was want to say that guild one would look awesome as doorway and floor. Yeah. Okay. We need 18 of these. Oh, a bit short. Then again, we, we used some to make other stuff. Okay, more than a plenty that should be. There, okay. Uh, let's break some of this with us. Yeah. Where is it in here? Arcane stone. So we can put it on these things instead of the amethyst blocks here. Yeah, that... No, mm. no, no. Gilded. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. Okay. That, uh, that, that almost looked like an insult for the apparatus. Uh, we have it over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My 
better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we might be a bit short on space. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. And there's the devices or chambers. Uh, one here then. And with each of these, we can just have it ready for one of the uh, essence types. Uh, we have some more space here. I don't know how close together these could be. Let, let's actually run a test on that. One, two. Mm, now let's put it a little bit further. One, two, and three. That might be a little bit too close on this one. I don't even need, I don't even think they need to be in a pattern around. They just need to be close by. Yeah, I, I have so many ideas. Oh. Yeah, like, like if. If we have the tower, like we, we go up a floor, but it, but the three blocks that connect to the floorboard, uh, gilded orchid stone, playing on the stone, then on top of that another gilded orchid stone, then deep slate, then we do that pattern again. For every time we go to the new floor with a floorboard or a roof. Wait, we have. Forgot to put it down here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we have a. No, that's a drag me. Mm, we do have a horn here. Yeah, we'll need to find a, a star bunkle for one of these. But for the moment, book and horn. Actually, let's make some signs to mark them for what they are, or what they'll make. Oh, you can make signposts with these, okay. There, that should be enough. Okay, this one would be conjuration. Uh, what do we need for the next one? Air essence, feather, a, an arrow, and a walden wing. Okay, feather, arrow, wild wing. Wild wings we probably have in here, or no, actually. A wing, yes. It was arrow, and the last one was a feather. Okay, all things that have to do with air. There. Uh, make a bit of room for this stuff. So we can just up place it one by one. Let's actually see if this works if we put them just around and not in a specific order. It will save up more space to do it like this. There, there, and there. Now we go grab a source gem, of which we have more than plenty. Now, will this work? It works, so, yeah, okay. Hmm. Now, yeah, I'll we just, can. I'll put, them to, I'll put them closer together another time then, to save space. Uh, let's see, air, then we have earth, which is iron, dirt, and seeds of any kind. That is very cheap. Okay, dirt, 
Oh, we already have seeds here. Iron. Okay. Seeds, dirt, and iron. Let me, let me just grab a stack of this. So we can put one in each. So we also have a visual representation. And yeah, no recipe around that one specifically. I, I could probably put all of them in this corner here. But first, uh, we should probably remove this little experiment here as well. Yeah, that again, we definitely gonna do all the floors like machinery in the basement and arcane and all the sorts in the tower itself. And of course, Helian's living quarters. Yep. And, and welcome also, back noon. Oh, welcome back noon. Ooh, waffles and tea. Some must be in fantasy. Shadow Plank waffles. And, and over here, before I forget. I had two ideas. I had two ideas. I talked to be here anyway. Oh, actually, one I originally did tell you. Hmm? The, the, we, we're gonna need a a lot of rot stacks of rotten meat. Okay. I uh, thought we could tame oh. a komodo dragon. <laughs> okay. Maybe and you can name it after me. Uh, let's see. These are slowly and being I, converted. And another thing I also told him about is to tame a foxhound in the nether. Yeah, we'll need fire resistance potions for that, though. But let's see. Uh, blaze. We don't have any blaze powder. But oh well, we can just make that. Yeah. But th and there's, there's a reason. Like, I would be the Komodo dragon, so I, Yeah, he has some physical respiration on me, because he can ride me, apparently. But a fox sound, that would be noon. <laughs> and we need gold for that. Okay. I thought we had a clock already. Oh, there it is. Okay. Clock, redwood, and a stone button. Actually, didn't I? Yeah, I had all of those ingredients in here because I forgot to put them away. I'm not okay. surprised. There there and there and then we put one in for conversion then water essence is the last a bucket of water a block of snow and kelp okay uh, makes sense that makes uh, sense actually kelp grows in water yep water bucket so, second explanatory snow snow is frozen water basically or a form yep. of water cold water <laughs> Okay, grab some water. Put that on here. Uh, yeah, kelp and snow. For that, we'd have to find a snow area. That isn't snow. That is sand. Is that snow? That's rocky stone and sand. They say there is snow. Okay. And have that be completely white. We can travel to that. We have a boat and all. Uh, kelp is outside. And yeah, that is just infinitely running. Let's just take a whole stack out of there. I'm guessing it's, it's probably filled up completely by now. Mm. Uh, there is a way we could well, ensure that it keeps constantly running. For that, we'll need some more create stuff, though. And there. Okay. And some of these have already changed. Yeah, all of them have already changed. Okay. Oh, dear. Mm. Actually, if we, repl if we replace these with hoppers... And put a chest down uh, next to it. It would automate again. Or actually, no, hoppers would not work because it would automatically pull the stuff out of it again. Maybe if we can get these into a small into a small enough area, they could be automated with a mechanical arm. Hmm. Yeah, the arm could grab it 
I'm pretty in a hopper. Actually, um, I think I had more of them, but I'm not sure if they can actually inter. In a, an arm wouldn't work. No, it, uh, they can't. They can't interact with certain things, but a smart chute oh. underneath would help. Similar to the well, the source gem creation. If we put a smart shoot underneath each of them, set with a filter only for their essence, then, yeah, that would automate production if we put a, a hopper with more source gems on top. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, definitely so we can do it anyway once we... St I feel like we definitely should st soon start on the actual tower. Uh, yeah, I should make a... F <clears throat> I should make a schedule of that, or a schematic of that. Also, what I'm making now is called Nature's Compass. With this, we can find specific biomes. We I, we did use this previously. Now, does this work with finding... No, it does not. Uh, there is a type of biome called an Archwood, or an Archwood Forest, where a lot more of the Ars Magica, or Ars Nouveau... I'm just calling, going to call it Ars Magica from time to time, uh, where... The creatures of that would spawn a hell of a lot more. But it doesn't seem like it's programmed into this one. So we'd have to find it ourselves. Hmm. Oh dear. And there's there's also something else that I told you about, but I haven't talked about on stream yet. And that is that the arcane stone can be used to make something else. That would be very useful for getting around. It would be cheaper than, or it should be cheaper than uh, the waystones, but you can make warp, basically warp gates with them. What? Uh, oh, I have extra kelp in here, apparently, for some reason. Uh, but yeah, you can make portals with them and program those to go to specific places. If I can find the book. It probably has an entry on that. That sounds useful. And also something we can build something nice from. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's the ritual brazier. Or brazier, yep. brazier, whatever. Brazier. Uh, brazier is something else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is that book? Also, I made some of these, these submarine sandwiches, which, uh, basically, nope. I'll just show. Nope. You need an amethyst nope, nope, crystal, nope, nope. a stick, some steak, and bread with them. And the, the crystal is just for a little flag on top. But they are very good foods, from what I've seen. Also, let's put you away. You, you, I, I don't think you want to eat crystal. Okay, some more amethyst for in there. And <laughs> let's see. All I can think of is a portal in the middle of the sky and on the ground being connected. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I'm actually not sure if vertical or horizontal you know, portals could be done, but it would be worth a try. I, I have, that, that's one of those things I suspect would happen to you. Where is that bloody book? <laughs> I, I didn't lose it or anything, did I? Let's see. Is he in one of the bags? Up oh, there it is. It, it just looks so ordinary. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is it in the Android Codex? Uh, Marsilial, no. Focus of block shaping. We should probably make some of these uh, accessories at some point as well. Ring of Lesser Discount, which lowers spell cost, of course. And actually make some uh, <clears throat> some magic clothes as well. Because there's some uh, warp portals there. Warp we portals also need like a pirate hat. <laughs> yeah, we need to go raid. <clears throat> we need to go raid some ships for that. 
Uh, let's see, warp portals like warp scrolls provide a one-way teleport to any location, provided it is in the same dimension. To construct a warp portal, build a frame from arcane bricks or its variants in the shape of a rectangular and provide a full source jar nearby. Then throw a warp scroll with a written location into the frame. Given there is enough source nearby, the portal will be created. Portals can be built horizontally or vertically, okay, from 1 to 1 to 21 by 1 in size. Warping does not cost any source after creation. Oh, we could make a big one or... But we are bigger than the regular nether portal at least. And these these warp scrolls aren't too expensive. You just need uh, four source, four lapis and a blank parchment. Okay, which is mage bloom and paper. Mage bloom we can get easily enough. Once uh, we start growing that. And speaking of... Uh, let's see. Mage Bloom should be somewhere in here. Or not. Is, is it... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, let's see. Mage Bloom Seed. We just need some seeds for that and four Source Gems. And we have plenty of th both of those. So, there. And then... One, two, three, four. And just put that in the enchanting apparatus. So yeah. we need a, another of those. Luckily, we have one unused nearby. Yeah, I just realized something. Since you're going to use that cannon. Uh, well, th this first floor here, we need to make it stand out as it's the base of the tower. Yep. And then on top of that, then we make the schematic for the... Think the cannon we make so it's gonna be less bulky compared to the base of the tower, as well as ends. Otherwise, I worry that the cannon we try to recreate all the furniture as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we should not forget to get rid of the room for your head. Yeah, you, you suggested burning it. Yeah, jokefully. No, we, we, we do want the andesite thing is. Yeah, the, the chassis shouldn't be burnable, I think. A lot of create stuff isn't burnable, actually, because you, it lava is part of some of the stuff that you actually, well, use uh, with them. Uh, or with it. <clears throat> so having stuff like that burned down would be a bad idea. Yeah, true. Um, so, yeah, up to you if you want to burn it or cut it down. Uh, for now, though, let's go grab some bone meal and make ourselves some guards after we, well, bring off the area. Uh, flint, yeah, we need to we need to get rid of a bunch of flints from the pr production. Smooth basalt. Oh, we we're gonna need so many name tags. I think we should name it the golems and all that. <laughs> okay. Uh, polished deep slate, cobble deep slate. Why did I just came up with the name Fiddlestick? Where, where did I get Fiddlesticks from? <laughs> League of Legends. The what now? League of Legends has a character called Fiddlesticks. And a What's very League annoying of one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. He did have a nice song, though, if I remember right. I don't remember if he did or not. Oh, he, these are wrong blocks, because these are compressed blocks. Uh, the compressed blocks are basically nine of the same. Or it's basically like uh, metal blocks, but with stone and such, to make it easier to store. Oh. So, yeah. We have plenty of uh, this at the moment. Uh, Do you throw it out? In here. And let's just grab it with the magnet. Weed closer. Yeah, you threw it off a cliff. <laughs> oh, that, that actually reminds me. I actually have an idea for Valheim. If... If given chance, like we find a little island with a good hill, 
We could call it the Hill Drake. Or Drake Maybe. Hill. Bit of a creepy noise added to the Blood Moon. Kind of sizzling sounds. Okay. Moo. Moo. Think that ghost cows around. Okay. Let's see. I still have this one, and there should be an iron one somewhere around. I I so knew exactly that. Uh, Before you is. ask noon, it was Helen is the one starting it. He he came up with the idea, <laughs> the old Minecraft map to call the colony Hill Drake, and the but the colony Drake Hill and the ship Hill Drake for some reason. Um, here we are. I think we broke noon. <laughs> it looks like it. So Again. job complete, I'd say. <laughs> what? Yep. Illegal puns? <laughs> Ilya, you should look at the chat. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Again, Helion was the one that came up with the name first. Both of them, actually. Yep. Uh, why is it not showing more? Uh, okay, it, bit of a glitch. Okay, now to work around the oh. corner. Uh, is this deep slate? Yep. Oh, it looks nice. Let's work around here. Uh, yeah, I guess I just put a extra layer of rock top. Just for decoration. Actually, can we? Let me check for a moment. Okay, we could make walls out of that, but it's it's just one to one. Hmm. We could put those on top. Uh, yeah, I'd say. Uh, wrong one there and oh, that's the compressed it really looks all the same there and you put that on top uh, that will make building a bit more difficult and that's mm -hmm. why I said uh, we put them on top all right Okay, going to need to change the wand soon. This is probably going to cost another one. Uh, as a wise said, one said I had nothing. Okay. Ed? I think you mean heard noon. Uh, any iron in here? No. Oh well. This sound is starting to get a bit annoying from the blood moon, but we can't sleep during one. Okay. Uh, I just said that I heard the cow moose. I almost said the moose cow. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty wrong. Diamond one. That should last a while. Okay, we. I'll try to get a pasture built for those later. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll also need to hunt some other animals as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, with these building wands, the more more expensive the head the head uh, of it is, the more <clears throat> uh, the more if well the more endurance it'll have or durability it'll have, and the more blocks it can place at a time. Uh, this one could place all of that in one go, so yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna place below it as well, so that it reaches the ground. Yeah, we'll definitely need to dig out a lot for that. 
And yeah, yeah I can the, see the, the Enderman the... over there, but we're out of range for it to activate. Oh dear. But at least we are within an area we can get plenty of deep slate. Yeah. And uh, the Mega Torch is keeping us plenty safe. Yeah, the, the only thing we need now is uh, cannons, trebuchets, catapults, ballistae. A bunch of crew running around. Yeah, and attack foxes. Maybe that toad as well, somewhere. I think I still have it stored in the capture thing. Holy. <laughs> that could have gone so badly. Well, we have plenty of health, so the, the fall wouldn't have killed us. Oh, hello there. You are in within range. And I can just take you as a stupid way <laughs> it walks into the water. Go. Also Face you. the wrath of the green paddle. Ooh. What the? Uh, Might be a fake from the blood moon. Where did we get fire resistance from? From killing it? it? Might be. Uh... What else is what? One of those freaking, yeah, uh, one of those freaking dragonflies. A bunch of those freaking dragonflies. Okay, that I did not expect to get bugged out like that. Got you, little fuck. Does that count as illegal fun? <laughs> oh, that one dropped something. No, oh, it's floating in our feet. Uh, let's see. Copper. What the... Okay. Uh, let's see. And they're pulled from. Oh, as I'm done, that we really want that. I I think there's probably a way to start one of these uh, blood moons on our of our own through some ritual with blood magic or something. Uh, that would make for a very good farming time, but at the moment it's a bit dangerous. Blood Moon is a Horus Moon, Helian. I think those are two different things. Let's see, I will play Feral Fox now, but <laughs> so they won't take me. Okay. Oh dear. Donk. Uh, let's just... here. Yeah, you're going to need to make some stairways. Let's close that off. And, well, we can continue yeah, We can continue building the wall, the wall from here. And actually, no, it's close enough. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Something below is chasing after us. Let's look on the minimap. Yep, and it's gone. It, probably another one of those bugs. They're really freaking annoying. Big Lad, they're not like a Heroes 3 variant. Oh. Uh, basically... Imagine what you get if you combine oh, damn it. a Dragonfly with an Anaconda. <laughs> okay. And they are called Serpent Flies and Dragonflies. But they're all just insects that look like serpents with wings. Let's make this a bit easier. And there. Okay, let's not make that mistake again. As the undead burn, but the Walden stay. There's actually a way to summon Walden yourself, so we can fight them. And there's even a boss with them as well. Oh yeah, we, we need to fight him. To upgrade the book further. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's the enclosure for the amethysts. I'm guessing the fifth died somewhere and it's 
charm probably despawns. There. Okay. Now to plant ourselves some trees. Uh, there. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Some bone meal. And yeah, let's go grab some. Yeah, let's go grab some name tags. We should have some from the dungeons. Let's see. Did I store those away already, or did I put them in here? You got a lot of compressed iron. I feel like we should have an armory room, but you have a lot of armor stands. Where all this armor uh, is uh, stored in. Yeah, we could try that, yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Yep. We probably a good way to uh, organize uh, weapons and armor in one room. With weapon chests and armor stands. Let's put that away, put that away, and that. Uh, nature's compass will go into the bags. Super glue, I'll keep the big one with, or the filled one with. Okay. Uh, there. Hold on. Okay. Let's go. Actually, we need we need rituals uh, materials for that. Because if we just plant them and grow them, they will just turn into trees. So let's see. Unselect that. Awakening. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we have the ritual thing already. So there it is. Okay. So. Any ideas for names already? Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it for a moment. <laughs> Uh, uh, but if it helps if I see them. Okay, let's do this one then. Oogala boogala. And there they are. Okay. So we need an anvil to put a name on these. Wait, an anvil? Yeah, with uh, universal name changer with a universal block modifier. That actually that that is cheap for us. Would that uh, would that just work? Well, universal owner changer, mob filter. Hmm. I'm a bit unsure on that. Do we have an anvil somewhere already here, or do I just need to make one? I th thought I had multiple of those in one of the boxes or something. Or I know it. I, st I stole at least one of them. Let's see. You what? Anvil and... Hmm. No response for those. Yeah, let's, I'll take the gold out of there as well, since we're short on it. Rose quartz. Hmm. Okay, I'll just make one. Needs more blocks. Okay. Iron. Two blocks. There. And there. One anvil. And Where's the I'll hammer? Put that here. Okay. What would you name the green one? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with green. Wait, the, the Hanu beard. Hmm? The Hanu beard. Yeah, they have a sideways beard. <laughs> That's their hair. <laughs> Too late. 
I want to say we could do the green dread or something. Yeah, well, we have three more to go. Uh, wait, those. dread green. Dread green kind of sounds like a pirate thing. Hmm. Maybe on another one that we make. For now, pickaxe. Uh, Okay. What would we name a purple one? Oh. Nightbark? Yeah, could work. Yeah, and I think they look the same except for a different color. Oh, and different hair, apparently. Okay. Hello, Nightbark. Let me actually bring the anvil along so we don't have to run back each time. And we're also... Uh, we have 20 minutes left. I forgot to set the timer again. And there. Just don't drop it on them. <laughs> okay. Oh, why did... Why is it? Oh, it needs to be put in first. There we go. Night bar. Okay. There we go. Now the road is getting damaged already. There we go. For the red one. Autumn Fist. Okay. Yeah, this one has a high hair. Okay. There. And then last but not least, the blue. There and there. Now, this is a big one. And for this one... Oh. I think I actually have a name for this one, I think. Let's see what you think oh. of it. Especially with that beard. Uh. Asher... What were you thinking then? <laughs> I thought we thought we were to do Asher Beard. We thought, all right, Asher Beard could work, but Asher Fod. Yes, really? A hidden pun? Well, what do you have in mind then? Uh, Asher Father. Uh, no, Asher Beard or Asher Leaf, I was thinking, but his beard is Asher Beard. <laughs> okay, there we go. Pick this up again, and there he is. Okay, they're probably going to get into in the way of building sometimes, but there's plenty of room for them to roam. And yeah, should anything find its way into here, they'll have to deal with them. Yeah, so I, I think we can set we, homes we for them. I think we may accidentally done a double pun. <laughs> Freeze, pun uh, police. Oh dear. Um, have you heard heard of uh, Bluebeard? Yep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nope. It's not fully grown yet, okay. Mm. There's no need to keep it growing since the production is still going well. And we have plenty of source gems as is. Okay. There, undo that. Put those in there as well. And let's see. Cogwheel. Not that one. Shaft and small cogwheel. And let's go check downstairs. Uh, that's a link, not the controller. Where there's the controller. Okay. And that is still going well. There we 
go. Are you still going? Or are you done? Nope. <laughs> this feels crammed like this. Yeah, you should made it made it higher. Actually, we could just build another layer on top of it instead of another uh, below it or something. I it, it is what's still crammed. Oh. Hello, diamonds. Uh, I was thinking more putting a layer below it is it stopped. Yeah, I think so. Why are you stopped? It should still have... Is that... A, that let's see. Uh, we... Why... Okay, X is 577. Spiders nearby. Also, this place is dark. So things could spawn... If we are far enough. Did not know those could smoke. And yeah, it, at, at this level, the gantry shaft gets in the way. That is resonating. Some iron. Let's just grab iron since that's going to be needed for other things all the same, even if we do have production of it. Nickel. Oh, prosperity. That we is needed. Osmium. Yeah, I, I want to move it up one so we can also walk underneath the shaft. Because we are at uh, <laughs> bedrock level, so we won't be able to get underneath it at some points. Uh, yeah, makes sense. And yeah, looks like it did go for two whole stacks. Hmm. Why was that one not smoking? Oh well. Uh, to speed up its return, let's break off a little bit. Then we put a large cogwheel, a small cogwheel shaft, then a big cogwheel that's breaking into <laughs> deep rock, or uh, yeah, bedrock. And there we go. That's now four times faster. And let's call it back. Actually, that, may, that wasn't needed there. Could have just put a bit of extra gantry shaft on it, but oh well. It should be on its way back now at four times the speed-ish. Let's go check. I should look if there's any boots that increase running speed or something. Uh, there is, but I think you had some on the old map. Uh, yeah, the running shoes, yeah. Uh, there, yeah, it is coming back. It is just a bit slow. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it'd be a better design to, uh, <clears throat> to put one of those, uh, speed controllers next to a the next to a water wheel so we can manually control its speed and having instead of having to do this this is running at 20 uh, rpm i think at max capacity uh, so 40 80 rpm hmm. all right do i think and it was said that the max, the best speed for breaking cobblestone at least was 55 or something Hmm. Huh. Might I'm just glad this works, space. but this would really give us a lot of soapstone, cobbles, uh, deep slate, and, well, anything else we need. Yeah. Hmm. And we still do have our sledgehammer if we ever need to speed it up. Yeah. And the spell book. Yeah. True. Um, Just be careful where you aim with the spell book. Yeah, we don't want to break our own stuff. Yeah. Okay, there was already a, sta a stack of redstone and more. 
Okay. Hey, we have music again. We've been having more music playing on the, uh, this episode. Yeah, usually it stays quiet for most of the time. Yeah. Hmm. Here it comes. Slowly but surely. <laughs> uh, let's see. Things to get done for next time. Uh, build a second floor on the tower that we can copy and then just paste over and over again upwards. For yeah, magic. so we, should, we st should still do the first floor, what, what do you call it? That we build it on top as well. Uh, improve the source gem production and the yeah, the farm underneath it. Oh dear. And maybe see about you know, actually there is something else that could be useful for us. Uh, oh. Let's see. At ours and then there's the mycelial, I think it is. One of these source links burns food for their source. So all of the berries that we farm, we could send to that for even more uh, source production. I forget which one of them it is specifically, though. Yay. And let's see. Link. Let's see. Agronomical, this one is from plant growth. This one is from burning stuff, like coal and Though we can also burn uh, archwood gives a bonus. Uh, in general, the R stuff uh, gives a bonus when pro in production with these. And one of the woods specifically, the red one, will give an even more source if burnt. Uh, alchemical speaks for itself, brewing and such. Uh, vitalic is from killing uh, mobs and, uh, well, gro animals growing. And yeah, the mycelial is probably the food one. Let's see. A, a decent haul. Let's see. A, not a lot of redstone, though. Bunch of geodes. Nice to see we, it'll get those as well. Yeah, a lot of deep slate and soapstone as well. Yeah, but a bunch of building materials. Some, let's see. I... I'll, I'd say let's try another stack and see how much it would bring back from that. Though, also let's also put extra layers on top of it uh, before we move it aside, though, and up a bit so we can actually be, walk underneath the thing. Actually, how about we just add, just make it double? Instead of eight reels, we give it sixteen. Uh, that would start to get pretty pricey, but we can work with that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would make the tunnels less cramped to run through. Yeah. Uh, that leads to the amethyst, which we're done with. Okay, let's head on up. Okay, uh, let's go grab those signs again, so I put so we yeah, I can put them down, and actually try and remember what to do next with them. And... Oh dear. Hmm. Now I'm actually thinking if the schematic cannon could work with making the uh, or moving the tunnel bore, but I'm not sure. That w that is going to be one annoyance with them compared to a rail cart contraption the bores, that it takes more time to move them. Hmm. I'll, I'll hmm. see if I can get it working again somehow, but I I think I'm going to prefer this more stable way. Maybe there was just something wrong I was doing in placing everything. Because apparently deployers can work, can be put into both left and right click mode. So yeah, they if you put them in right in the wrong mode with that, they won't actually place any blocks. We should probably clean that up as well. Maybe I have plenty of things that need to be cleaned up and move aside a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's throw the stuff that can go through here, through here. Uh, iridium, I don't know if that actually works, but oh well. 
Yeah, not much actually to throw through here. Actually, let's see. Uh, iridium. Okay, iridium dust. So that can be crushed. Yeah, the crushing wheel. Uh, iridium ingot. Uh, wait, what about the ingot ore then? Um. See, where's the raw version over here? Ingot gives one, the ore gives two. Yeah, and ingot is already processed. I think that might have destroyed it. But oh well, we can find more of it. Oh, oh, raw iron. And let's just destroy this. The test has already worked. It coal blocks do give more. Hmm. There we go. But I don't think it's really worth it to try and make you, know, you know, try and feed everything with coal blocks instead. Uh, there, 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 and there. Let's keep the torches, prosperity shards, clean stone. Yeah, we got that from the test thing. Bone meal, furnace, arcane stone, anvil, hopper, and where did the spruce go? Oh, the spruce sign was stuck on one of them. Okay, signs there. Put those away. And let's see. For next time, uh, improve bore. Uh, improve gem and farm uh, second level yeah like I feel like we're gonna need deep stone bricks and arcane stone bricks yep, one more and of thing. course the guild one too stairs to actually get off this place. That too. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, dear. Night Park is trying to get up here. Hello. And one more then. Uh, well, no, not volcanic. My cilio source link. There we go. Okay, and that will give us plenty of source to work with in the future. Um, yeah, we'll need to get some snow. We'll need to get uh, what the third one for this was. Uh, conjuration. Yeah, conjuration essence. Uh, yeah, Starbuncle. Okay. There. That's, that should be more than enough to help me remember. So for now, let's head on over here and go look for someone to raid. Okay. I would prefer the uh, trebuchets with explosive barrels. Uh, change screen to the here. And let's see then. Uh, all of those notifications about stupid stuff. Let's see, the Yogs cast are still busy doing play, apparently they're playing music. Takahata 101 is streaming uh, Deep Rock Galactic. That Scaly Tail is streaming Beneath Oressa. Uh, not sure he was that before. Halloween 4545 is streaming Hades. Smoops Other Nonsense, Space Station 13. Uh, WBPL76, was he streaming Ship of Fools earlier? Uh, he is now. Don't think so. Derpy Dew is streaming Choo Choo Charles. New Gundam Gaming is streaming Keep Talking and No One Explodes. Oh god, that is fun to watch. And then we have Kasko uh, Kas yeah, Kasko Zuka. Kas no, Ka Kasko Zook. Ka yeah, Kasko Zook is streaming Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. Uh, Reef the Leaf is streaming Digimon World. Valak Vascosities is back from a, being away for a while. 
the stream Path of Exile, and Branded Chihuahua is streaming Stardew Valley. Oh, uh, dear. I think that's enough from just the people I'm followed and such, so <laughs> let's not touch the recommended this time. Uh, any of those sound interesting, or shall we look through the recommended anyways? Find new mm. people or something. Derpy do maybe? Okay. Let me and also, mute the sites. Uh, yesterday when I watched uh, some of this, I got tempted to recommend you play uh, Shoo Shoo Shawls. Yeah, I, I, I know everything about it already, though. But it might be an interesting stream for once. Uh, it is a short game, but uh, I think the <laughs> I think the person who made it uh, has basically made, managed to sold the, managed to sell the premise just on well the, the absurdity of the premise and a bit a bit of charisma itself because he has been working on it for a year or two and documenting that on YouTube. But yeah, yep. slash raids paste. But before we start on that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for watching and chatting along some. And uh, thank you... Uh, let me scroll this up again. Uh, ta -da -da. Thank you, Poe Joyson, a.k.a. Jazz. Thank you all the same as well. And thanks for the follow as well. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm done with streaming myself today. But in three hours, if it's still going to happen... Uh, I'll likely be joining a Town of Salem collab together with Reedy Celeste and anyone else who will be joining up with that. Uh, if it still happens, of course. I'll double check after the stream. But, it yeah. Uh, you were going to say something it there? I was to say, does that mean we will or will not do something Sunday tomorrow? Uh... I should be able to get plenty of sleep after that still. But uh, yeah, we will be doing Showcase Sunday. And after that, we have a, an extra space. So we'll have to see what if we will stream it uh, then, though. Uh, I think we've had... Yeah, we, we've had two of uh, Rayman Legends. We've had Shantae. We've done Valheim and now also Minecraft. So we we could do something extra. Or we could we could do something in extra time, or do something else. Hmm, I I'll be up for more Valheim or another Shante. Okay. Uh, for now, though, let's start the raids, and yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see what we'll do extra tomorrow. Showcase Sunday will be insured. Uh, I'll have to double check, or I'll have to double check if the games will work with OBS still. Uh, but beyond that. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for creepers. <laughs> uh, we didn't actually see a single one of those today. Yeah, that's kind of weird. They must be learned to be stealthy. <laughs> or probably the mega torch blocking their spawn. Either way, until next time. Be safe, everyone.